There they go, my first sight. First sighting of the Amish. What are they doing? Where are they going? What are you doing over there, buddy? What are you doing? You got all these cars behind you. Nobody can get through. The Amish hunt has started. Here we are today on the great hunt for the Amish. For the Amish. And uh, we got Greg here driving. We got the uh, state police in front of us. We got Lou Ellen, sweet smell them. And uh, Donna back there. And uh, we're hunting for Amish people today. And uh, I think we got a bag limit of uh, <laughs> uh, four Amish per, per, per person. person. And uh, um, so we're gonna high. see who's gonna get the first Amish. Yeah. And uh, I think, uh, what do you do? You just like tap the roof when you get one. There's an Amish. Right. And uh, uh, first one to, to four will win. So uh, we're Amish hunting today. And uh, we're gonna try to get down to the nitty gritty with them and, and know, uh, uh, can you fly on a plane? Why do you have a cell phone? Uh, um, why well, you got an 18 passenger van? Yeah, yeah, why do you have, why do you have vehicles? Uh, but here we go, the hunt for the Amish. And dude, Mannheim, uh, Pennsylvania. I mean, this one is good. There's all these uh, crazy farms all over the place around here. I don't know if that's where the Amish live, but they probably do. Yes. That looks like an Amish house. It probably is. Um, I'm gonna just say, yeah, it is. That is an Amish house. That looks like an Amish horse over there. <laughs> that is an Amish horse. Okay, there's an Amish dude right over there. No, there's one. There's another one. Amish family. Oh. Amish family doing a uh, with the kids. Doing the kids. The Amish are everywhere. Get your get your sights ready. Reload. Reload. <laughs> okay, that's definitely Amish over there. I know it is. They're everywhere. Long neckers. Whoa. Okay, old cemetery. Gotta check it out. On the Amish farm by the cornfield. I just parked this park. Oh. I'm gonna check the cornfield. We drove, in, we drove to into the into the graveyard. Landreth. 1909 to, to 1991. 1991. That was about 80s. Just pull over, just get out, check it out. <coughs> it smells like horse shit. <laughs> oh, good <laughs> God, it smells like horse shit. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> get out of the car if you're gonna puke. <laughs> you're not puking this car. <gasps> no, don't, 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 don't. He's gonna throw up and I don't want him throwing up on me. <laughs> yeah, he's <not> gonna... <laughs> Yo, illegit. Smells like horse shit. So bad out here. Oh my god. <laughs> Whoo. Oh man. Well, here we are in the in the old Amish uh, cemetery. Um, look, there's Jacob and Jacqueline. <laughs> Young Ginger, 1882 to 1969. Wow. Zittle. Trout. I don't know when he does. Zittle. Zittle. What a name. Yeah. There's a lot of trout. There's a lot of trout. Man, it legit Man. smells like horse crap so bad out here. I love because they fertilize Ooh. the ground with it, that's why. I love that. Yeah, that's what it is. It's fertilizer. Kind of smells like when you go to the zoo and you go by like the elephant. <laughs> But Lou, Lou can't handle this. He uh, uh, he can't handle the smell, the shit smell. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Don't ish. <laughs> okay, I think that's about it. Oh, cool. Well, I guess this is a an Amish cemetery, 
Uh, we've gotten a few already. Oh wait, there's the Amish guy over there. Period. Plow Plowing the field. Plowing the field, look. Plowing the field. That's Amish. Man, that's, good. That's two points. Yeah, that is. That, that's about, that's a good 500 yard shot right there. Look at him. Just a plowing away, being an Amish. Just Amishing away over there. That's what the Amish do. Dun, dun, dun. Wow, you know, pretty good for us. Uh, uh, in the first few minutes there, Greg, yeah. we've already gotten. Uh, uh, you limited out already. Yeah, yeah. I think I, I think I've hit my limit. I've hit my limit on Amish already. It's think I think it's time for Don A and Lou uh, uh, to get their shots on. I don't know if Lou's gonna make it though. Uh, uh, he can't get over the manure. Yeah, he can't get over the uh, uh, smelling like cow crap, horse crap. It really does. It smells really bad around here. <laughs> it stank. Hey, Lou, you okay? Uh, no. Well, if the dead was to rise, I'd go back in. If the dead were to rise, you'd go back in. Oh. But please don't vomit. Well, as long as I don't see. Okay, pretty interesting. Well, look at these. This is just like. It doesn't even say anything, it's just an X. Maybe it's just a boundary. You see these Amish, they're all farmers and see their big silos and they get this corn. Oh, a fresh and grave. A fresh grave. <laughs> somebody freshly died. This is a, I guess an Amish farmhouse right there. I see, I see like tractors. How they have modern tractors? Well, I found the Trot family. Trots are uh, the Trots that walk here. Oh, here. Yeah. I guess I better drive oh, carefully. Oh. Don't want to take out a tombstone. Hope I don't get a shotgun over here. <laughs> Do the Amish have guns? So we better watch out, they shoot back. <laughs> well, and these people live right on the cemetery. That must be uh, quite amusing. I guess these legit are all Amish houses. It's like over here, you see they have the laundry hanging from, from the front of the, of the house. Reformed. They're long neckers. <laughs> what? <laughs> the long neckers were formed. Yeah. The long neckers. neckers. All are welcome. 10 All are welcome. Oh. We're coming. Even us English. But we're no coming Sunday, Sunday morning. Third Sunday. No meeting tomorrow on third morning, Sunday. Let's do it. Yeah, we're coming. Well, what, if, what if it's the third Sunday tomorrow? We have to be out of that house tomorrow by 10 a.m. Yeah, what if tomorrow's the third Sunday? We're on our way to death. I don't know what this little town is. But, uh, is that what it's called? Georgetown? Like Georgetown is that way. But, it's just this quaint little Amish town. I think that's an Amish dog. I'm not sure. They've got a little front porches. Um, but they are a bit gay here in Amish land. If you look at that house, my word. That is You see that wraparound yes. patio? Pennsylvania. Like a pencil. In Vania. See, look at this. Patios like that. Must be Amish. That's definitely an Amish church. It looks Amish. It has that Amish look. <clears throat> what do the Amish eat? They butter. Eat? Butter. Yeah, they churn butter and that's all they eat. Just non-stop butter. And ice cream. It's like, this is the second ice cream shop. Yeah, there is a bunch of ice cream shops here. Everything in the an antiques. Man, see, I would like to go in these antique shops. And, uh... Maybe find like an Amish like tobacco pipe. 
I can sit on my front porch and puff away. Puff away. Wow, look at all these old trains. Oh, damn, this is the old train station. Wow, look at this. This is really cool. This is like a, oh, it's the railroad museum. So this is where all the Am Amish came from. They, they all showed up on that train. And uh, um, e all this is built by the Amish. Every every wood, piece of wood cut by the Amish. Whoa, is that like an old locomotive in there? Oh, that is. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Amish man. Oh. <laughs> Amish oh, man. <laughs> okay, I found myself out here on top of Amish land. And I'm gonna cross this crazy Amish bridge. You can tell this is this is Amish. This is a, a pure, pure Amish steel. And uh, I'm gonna see if I can get through here to the other side of Amish land. And if I can, maybe I can actually become Amish myself. So let's see if I can if I can get through to the other side, because that's the Amish land, the farm. But I have to get through this steel maze of old Amish iron. And here I am, making my way through to glory. If I can just get around, and there it is. Pure glory, pure. Amish land. I shall become Amish and I will churn butter and eat ice cream like Joe Biden every day in Amish land. If you look off into the distance, you'll see a wild Amish man doing work on his cornfield. The horses pulling the buggy and the great Amish doing Amish things in Amish land. He's like a bunch of hard work to me. Oh wait, we got one coming right here. Here we go. Here we go. In Amish land. We're gonna get greeted by one of the great Amish. Wave hi to him. Putting in that work, baby. Putting in that work, young man right there. How's it going? How's it going, buddy? Horse's ass. That horse's ass. Well, there's the Amish. Great Amish land. Doing Amish things. It's actually a beautiful day to be to be working out here in the field. But here's the one thing I don't understand. It's like you got these two guys over here with the horses doing Amish things in Amish land. And at the exact same time, you got these guys doing that. You got this guy over here on his mechanical gas powered tractor really putting in work. He's like doing a, a 10 times the work these guys over here are doing. It's like, what's up with that? He's got the tractor and they got the horses. He's got the tractor, they got the horses. You know what, this is gonna be a beautiful shot right here is we're gonna see the actual tractor driving right by the guys and the horses. They're doing the exact same damn thing, but this guy's on the damn tractor and they're on the damn horses. Tractor, horses. Tractor, horses. See, they even know each other. See, how is this even working out? You think they'd be pissed? Like, man, we should get a tractor. He's like, nah, we're Amish. We're Amish in Amish land. We do Amish things. And maybe say, hey, why don't you get that horse's ass out of the way? I don't know. Pretty interesting. Pretty interesting here in Amish land. Watching the Amish do Amish things in Amish land. It's a woman doing the work. Is it a woman? 
that's the lady down there putting in work. Okay, see, there's the lady down there. Look at her, she whooping that horse. You get on there. Look, and she's taking off with the with the hay miller. Look, that thing's got it's it's gas powered. But the horses are pulling the gas powered hay beller. I don't know how that works. But we got the wife up there, she's driving the horses. We got the husband back there, he's riding on the back trailer. We got a gas powered hay beller. And uh, they're out here belling some hay. Out here in Amish land. You can kind of see how this thing works as they're going over that that area you see how it makes the hay bale come right off the back of that thing kind of like a poop chute and he just loads it up starting at the back they got that whole field right there to do up get ready for the winter there's a guy over here his his trailer's already full and we're just sitting here watching the Amish do Amish things in Amish land uh, Greg and I just sitting here, you know, uh, uh, look how beautiful it is out here in, uh, in Pennsylvania and Dude Manheimen. I can't say the name of this town, so I'm calling it Dude Manheimen. But here we are, Pennsylvania. It's a, it's a beautiful afternoon right now. And uh, we're Amish hunting. Uh, the hunting's been pretty good. Uh, I got my, my bag limit. Uh, uh, Greg got his. And... Uh, I don't know what they taste like, but uh, probably pretty gamey. <laughs> you gotta wait till tomorrow for the next. Yeah, so we'll, we'll figure it out. But we're watching them put in work over there in Amish land. Okay, if you look down here, now we got the, the buggy uh, uh, riding. You see these buggies all over, and that's how they get around. They're horse and buggy here in Amish land. Sitting out here, uh, it's almost like I'm in a time warp. So I can go right back in time and see how these Americans here, these Amish Americans, have lived for a very long time here in America, doing it the same way. Just these horses getting up every day, bailing some hay for the horses to eat, putting in work, getting it done. Amish land. Man, it really feels like I'm in a time warp. That is so beautiful there, guy. This looks like a young man. In Amish land. Just a young man in Amish land. See you, buddy. You be good now, you hear? Amish, Amishing it up. So uh, uh, the husband there made him stop because something happened and uh, she had to stop the horses. Um, so we're just sitting here watching them put in work, watching the Amish put in some work. We can hear him yelling at her. He yelled at her, hey, hey, whoa, whoa. We don't start beating her. I don't know what the armors do. Like, damn, why have you messed up? I'm gonna beat you. Man, we caught one out in the wild here doing his, his farming, but that's gas powered. I, I don't understand how they can have gas powered, but um, horses and steel wheels. See, all those wheels are made of steel. But there's one out in the wild, a wild Amish, doing wild Amish stuff. He's out in the wild, he's doing it, getting it, look at those suspenders. Look at those suspenders, keep those bands up. Keep those bands up while that works. Wow, the work, but it works, beautiful. They all look the same. Yeah, it was good to see it. Yeah, there's eight horses for it. That's what I'm going to do all day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
work, baby. Put in work. Um, okay, right in the road. They just keep it, keep it cracking like a dude with the beard, man. Look at that beard. That dude had a hell of a beard. Wow, look how beautiful this area is. It's just so pretty to run through. I can guarantee you he was not on his way to Starbucks. I know. Wow, look at this building here. All made out of stone like that. Okay, we got a wild buggy Amish here. We got a wild one. He's going. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Get it. it smells like horse shit. Okay, we've actually ventured off into Amish land. Let's see if we can capture one up close in the wild. In the wild. And uh, in the wild. I'm told Don A to stand back if we actually see one. And I'll, I'll approach it Trust first. Me. They don't I'll want me coming at you first. Because Don A's got, got questions. Mouthful. She's got a mouthful of questions. And we're actually going to go in here to this Amish farmer's market and get some food and see what it's like in here. So, uh, looking for an Amish pie. I hear the Amish make a hell of a pie. So we're looking for Amish pies. Here's a, here's a, an Amish wagon. That's definitely an Amish wagon, you can tell. I think that was one right there. There's an Amish painting of one. Let's see it. Let's go in this place. Dun, dun, dun. Oh. Oh, look at this. Oh, cashew brittle, bacon brittle, pumpkin seed, Mom, where'd you go? peanut coconut. Oh, look at this. Oh, my word. Look at that. Mom, excuse me. Can I please get a caramel apple in your hand? No. <laughs> that looks good. Yum. Wow, this place is incredible. <laughs> Look at all these yummies. What? Excuse us. Look at all this food. Amish butter, there it is. There it is. Where did my family go? I'll just keep walking around. Okay, this place is amazing. This is like Amish heaven. Look at this whoopie pies. Look at this. Like homemade. Good lord. Amish country. For our fridge. For the fridge. Dun dun dun. Okay, you're gonna buy that right now? Well, let's, let's walk around for a little bit. No, I'm walking. I'm not buying okay. now. I'm just getting together. Okay. 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 The variety of I've snacks. already seen Amish people. I have too. I've not okay. approached them. Oh, there they are. There's some right there. There's some right here. Look. I know. These are the ones that I didn't approach. They look so sweet. I don't actually want to get into any arguments with them. Also, as you're going, have a look and see what you want. Those are like free snack. samples right there. Oh, I see that. <coughs> Go the jerky. Yeah. 
Let's say this place is really, really awesome. Look at all this. Look at this stuff. Oh, um, the jalapeno. Oh. No, no, that's what I'm saying. You can actually get meat. Look, we can, we can get everything. We can get everything to make dinner right here. Yeah, look at that. It all looks really good. Smoked doggy bone. <laughs> Freddie would love that. Five bucks. You had to fly home with it. And the suitcase. We've got an empty suitcase going home. Huh? That might end up in a fight between the two dogs. It's like the biggest chocolate bunny I've ever seen. Look at that. That's what it mostly is in here, just like lots of... if you get that. I can't buy that. No, 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 we can't buy We gotta fly home tomorrow. <laughs> Take that on the airplane. I'll walk with that on the airplane. <laughs> You'll be crunched up before you get there. Look at the fridge. I can eat the ears though. I could probably eat the ears. Yeah, you, you can you can break the ears off and pour beer in it. Right? There you go. See now now we're talking. You're hired. <laughs> beer chocolate. The beer bunny. Beer chocolate. You can put anything in there, couldn't you? Sky's the limit. Sky's the limit. How about some clam chowder? Here you go. Clam chowder. <laughs> I don't know about that. I'm, I'm joking. I'm joking. Why would you put clam chowder in a chocolate bunny? Fishy chocolate. <laughs> Thank you. See now these look, all these look great. You're gonna have to get some of these. Some of it's sugar free. This is a sugar free. This See, I is like all these. want to get with some of it. The orange ones are the best. Vanilla butter. Because the orange ones are the best. Lemon, orange, cream would be good, yeah. Turkish taffy. Raspberry. Mint and raspberry. Almond. Candy Lane. Almond and chocolate. Potato chip. Yeah, no, it's all this. We've got a Jesus. Vanilla marshmallow. Okay, let's do Yeah, that's a pound? Okay. Um, I, like, I want to try the, uh, the the peanut cluster and an almond cluster. Oh, the almond cluster. Does that sound good? Yeah. I heard almond cluster. I'm um, not sure, but we're going to have to see how much it weighs because I do want raspberry as well. You want raspberry? You want raspberry jelly or what do you mean? Yes, ma'am. The uh, milk raspberry jelly. And a couple the milk chocolate. Let's do uh, two. Yes, orange juice. Orange juice. Yeah, I This is sugar. And then the peanut cluster. The peanut cluster. Two of them. Two milk. Two milk, yes. And then uh, two almond. And uh, and, a, and some of the potato chips, like like a, like a little handful. And that's it. Well, we got a pound, so let's see how we're doing. Oh wait, that's not very much. Okay, okay, she wants to make the pound. Okay. About 20 pieces, he said. Yeah, so let's do... Uh, let's do two of these raspberry truffles. And then... Two orange cream milk. Oh, orange cream sounds good. Mm -hmm. Time. 
Yeah. No, no, I'm almost ready to go. I'm just, I don't want to. Let me get two of the jumbo marshmallow milk. Oh, that sounds so good. Mm -hmm. That's your sweet tooth. I'll take care of all of us later after dinner. These look like the most amazing cookies I've ever seen. Look at these. Just big and fat and full. Look at that. What do you think about these cookies right here, Donnie? Look at those cookies. They look like heaven. These are the best cookies. Fresh baked cookies. Dun, dun, dun. I knew I'd find you all over here. What are y'all doing? Getting subs made? Getting some subs made, man. Look at that. They're doing a good job. Got some provolone cheese. She knows how to make them. You getting a salad, Lou? No. Is that, no? I was gonna say. Would you like pickles on this too? Please, pickles. Get it. Don't need that, just throw it on. Just throw it on. <laughs> See, all these places got samples too. So you can come over here and you can try like each one of these that are here. Which one's the best? I'm not sure. You're not sure? These two. I think I like this one. The spread? Mm. It does look good. I'm gonna have to try that. Wow, look at all these. Look at that. I think you can just try these. The lemon. Oh, I bet you that's so good. Some rhubarb. See, they each got a little thing, and you can just try some on like one of these little pretzel cracker type of things. And just a bunch of honey. Try the honey. See, she's trying that out. Look at all that. Well, we're back from the Amish hunt. It was successful. <laughs> we all bagged our limits, and uh, uh, it turns out I, I, I love the Amish people. The Amish people are true Americans. Uh, uh, real true Americans still living and humping that American dream. Um, you see the whole families working, uh, 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 moms and dads out in the fields, plowing the fields. Then you go to the shops around here and you have, uh, uh, you know, the family members working the cash register behind the, behind the counters. Uh, uh, they, they make the product, they sell the product. Uh, um, they're all... Uh, uh, very clean looking and very uh, um, uh, uh, well mannered and, and uh, I, I have to say uh, the Amish are probably some of the the greatest Americans in America and I love the Amish and after my my Amish hunt and bagging my limit um, I love I love the Amish they are true great Americans and uh, something that we should all look up to uh, we should look up to uh, uh, how how good and and prosperous the the amish live because they really do uh, uh petro here i love the amish <laughs>